Hey, Miles here at Tactical Hive, and in today's video, I'm going to share six tips that are going to help you safely manipulate your firearm, whether you're attending a class, training on your own, or training with others. And this stems from a recent trip we took over to uh, the Midwest, where we're holding a lot of rifle classes, and we saw some unsafe weapons manipulation. And you know, it's common. Some people are not training enough, or maybe they're training at a flat range, not moving a lot, and perhaps, you know, just they don't have a lot of time on the gun. So what might seem common sense to people with a lot of experience, you might be shoot, have been shooting tactically and with a lot of good shooters for a long time, whereas others may not shoot more than twice or, you know, three times a year. So if you are interested, make sure to stay tuned so that you can safely manipulate your rifle. All right, welcome back. So tip number one is very simple and everyone will agree. I already alluded to it. Not a lot of people may be practicing a lot. And the first thing you can do, it's common sense, okay, is to practice a lot. Train with your rifles, dry fire, go to a lot of classes, understand how to operate your firearm properly, efficiently, and effectively. And the best way to do that is to actually use your firearm. I already mentioned going to classes, doing dry fire, but beyond that, simply playing with your rifle is also another way to get used to this and get some informal, casual practice in. When you were a kid, and if you owned these toy guns, you probably played with them a lot. You knew how to use all the controls. You weren't afraid to play around with this gun to really get comfortable with it. So the same thing applies. If you want to get comfortable with your rifle and you want to be safer, you should start using it a lot so you know where the muzzle is pointing. Of course, you start off dry and this is the best way to ingrain really good habits. So as the first tip, make sure you're practicing a lot. It's common sense, but I need to get it out there. Speaking of training and practicing a lot, to hone your safety manipulations. If you do train a lot, you definitely want to invest in a shot timer. And we want to thank Shooters Global Smart Timer for sponsoring today's video. If you guys have not checked them out, you really need to. This is way more than a timer. It is the future of shot timers. So if you're interested, make sure to check them out in the description below. The second tip has to do with your safety lever. This is very important because a lot of people who do not use their rifles a lot are not manipulating their safety as if their life depended on it. And they're not doing it naturally. They really have to think about it a lot. And this is evident because we are always looking at different students and we'll go, oh, put your safety on, put your safety on, put your safety on. Usually it's a combination of things and primarily they're not practicing enough and they're not being reminded every time they're shooting. So it's not really ingrained into their subconscious. So with tip number two, I just wanna share kind of a general way or general process here. Whenever you are going on target, you're, gonna, you're going to get your sights on target, that safety is off. And anytime your sights are off target, that safety is on. Now different units, different organizations might have slightly different ways to handle the safety, but for this video, that's neither here or there. The main thing is getting used to the manipulation of your safety, particularly for beginners. And the best way to do it is just keep it simple. So if I am about to look down my sights and engage a target or threat, that safety comes off and finger on the trigger. Opposite, once I'm about to put my rifle down, safety off, and then I can now put my muzzle in a safe direction. So it's all about getting used to manipulating your safety. There are lots of times where you might question whether you need to put your rifle on safe or not. And like I mentioned, if you're a beginner and you wanna be safe, just keep that simple process in mind. As you get more experience and as safety becomes a part of you, then you can begin to break the rules, so to speak. But for now, once you're on target, safety off. Once you're off target, safety on. Tip number three is to have a sling and to use it, actually use it properly. And this is coming right after tip number two where we talked about the safety because if you go to classes, you'll hear a lot of instructors after let's say there is a course of fire that's just been completed or the instructor wants to talk about something, the instructor will say something like, put it on safe and let it hang, referring to your rifle. So you put the rifle on safe and let it hang. The idea of letting it hang is to use your sling and just let your rifle hang. So you're on safe, the muzzle is in a safe direction. I mentioned this because it's not common sense. Again, if you've been shooting for a long time, okay, you understand this. But some people, even though they're wearing a sling, they'll be holding the rifle like this. Even after the course of fire, they're holding it the, the, the whole time rather than just relaxing. And by doing this, if they're not paying attention, they might flag a student, they might be walking around, which is going to connect to some of the other tips I'm going to share with you. But when we're talking about a sling, you want to actually use the sling. So if it's time to just relax, make sure your gun is unsafe and then let it hang. So now your muzzle is 
really in a safe direction. All right, so on to tip number four, which I've already referenced or alluded to in tip number three. And that is when people are turning to left or to the right, the muzzle is flagging a lot of people. Sometimes it'll be up here. And, you know, it happens a lot. So if this, you know, if you're one of these people who still doesn't really have full awareness of your muzzle, you know, don't, don't worry so much in the sense that it happens to everyone. You just have to have more time and really be conscious, really pay attention to what you're doing with all your movements until you've gained that experience where, again, it's just ingrained into you. It's natural, it's in instinctual. But until then, you wanna keep in mind that if you are going to turn, you have to remember you should be on safe and keep the muzzle in a safe direction. Usually that's going to be down. And if you are using a sling and you're in a class, you probably will have a sling, you're going to put it on safe and let it hang. So now whenever you turn, there is absolutely no danger of someone being flagged. Whereas if I'm holding my rifle like this, even if I'm unloaded, we want to build good safe habits, I don't want to be doing that. All right, so when you turn, you need to ensure the muzzle is in a safe direction. There may be times where your rifle is up like this in a high ready position or a framing position, and that's great too. You can turn here, but whatever ready position or framing position you use, you need to understand that as you turn, the muzzle needs to be in a safe direction. Tip number five to safe rifle manipulation. When you are bending, you need to be aware of this. So let's say you're letting your rifle hang you're using a sling, some people will bend and they don't really pay attention to where my rifle will be pointing as I bend down. So right now it might be someone behind me, okay? Might be to the side. I don't really know, right? I have to be conscious of this, okay? So if I know I'm bending, I wanna bend down and be aware of where the muzzle is pointing. So I'm gonna take two directions here. If I'm facing you here, as I bend down, I'm going to now guide the rifle. I know, I know exactly where the muzzle is pointing. And this is not exactly how you do it. You could be holding it this way, whatever it is. What The main thing here is I'm being aware of where the muzzle is pointing. So if I were here, just a different angle here, I know I'm going to bend down. If I don't do anything, okay, if I don't touch this gun, maybe all of a sudden it's pointed towards you, okay? So I know there's a shooter down range there. I might do this. I might hold it here and now my muzzle is pointing in the ground, it's in front of me, everything is safe. So when you bend down, you need to be aware, just like when turning. The last tip also deals with where your barrel is pointing, and this really is all about what you're going to do or how you should position your rifle when you are moving and shooting or specifically running from position to position. When people run, this is another opportunity for them to be flagging people. So if they do not know how to run or manipulate their firearm, they could be, let's say you're a shooter, I'm running this way and I could flag you like this. Okay, yes, I'm able to run, I have a good stride, but now I don't know where my rifle is pointing. Now keep in mind, what I'm sharing with you is for beginners and you're really building good safety habits. Once you get to a very, very high level, let's say for example, anyone who's been a high level operator in a very, very tight CQB environment, there may be times where you have to point your muzzle at somebody. This is not what we're, you know, we are never ever trying to do that, but some situations will require that. And this is where other safety measures come into play. But as a beginner, if you're watching this video, we should never ever think that way. We're always still watching out where our muzzle is pointing. And when we run, that's generally a time where we forget where this muzzle is pointing. Even if I had like a high ready position, I might be running like this, but there might be someone over here, particularly in a class, and now I'm muzzling them, all right? Yes, you'll have safety measures. You will have your safety on. You will have your finger off the trigger. But again, those are insurance policies. There's layered insurance policies, but we don't want to ever have to worry about them, right? So if we can stop it from the very front end, which is not pointing the muzzle at, um, at a student or somebody, you know, we don't want to shoot or anything we don't want to shoot, you really need to be conscious of your ready positions when you're running or exactly how you're running. So this is not about techniques here, but even if I was running like this, let's say I was in a weird position, okay? I'm, I'm just making this up. If I'm running like this, I know where my muzzle is. If I'm running like this, okay, I know where my muzzle is, okay? So just make sure you're aware of that because when people run, they tend to forget. 
There you guys have it, six tips to help you safely manipulate your rifle. I know that for many of you, this might seem simple and common sense, but the reality is a lot of people out there are still learning, still getting familiar with their firearms, their rifle, whether it's pistol or rifle. And so hopefully this video helps you out and makes you safer. Anyway, guys, if you're new to this channel, we release videos every single day. So if you want to make sure you're notified, know what topics are being released, make sure to subscribe. And as always, if you like the video, please give Give us a thumbs up and don't forget to let us know what you thought or if you have any questions in the comments below. See you guys next time.